Hello and welcome to this practice today. We're going to look at a restorative uh, session, in particular in view of the changing of the seasons at the moment. So going from um, into colder autumnal uh, weather that we can help to support our nervous system and find some relaxation in that. So I really find that at this time of year, I start to feel this kind of slowing down and the need uh, to rest a bit more. And with a restorative practice, you can really bed down and be nice and cozy, keep your socks on and have a nice thick blanket and everything with you. So we'll need a few props uh, today. I like to have a nice uh, thick blanket that you can either use underneath you for the whole practice or you might have two. So you've got another one to put on top of you at the end. A couple of blocks. If you don't have blocks, you could use um, books or something else that is nice and firm that you don't mind putting a little bit of weight onto. And then also a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, no problems at all. Um, two pillows work just fine or a nice thick uh, cushion. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to begin with a few uh, poses just to help us warm up into the body before coming into our longer restorative holds. So if you come to start off, in a butterfly position with your legs. So just allow your feet to be a little bit further away to start with and then find some height and length through the back body. Use your hands to lift up your pelvis and shift the pelvis forward a little bit closer towards the heels. And you might just come to interlace your hands and just begin to move your knees up and down. So just starting to kind of um, bring the awareness into the hips, bring the blood flow into the hips, allow a little bit of circulation in that area. So I find just by doing a few small movements before we take the longer holds that we can get into the body in a much sort of quicker way than if we go straight into the longer holds of the restorative poses. Okay, so just allowing the knees to go up and to go down a few more times, maybe slightly more vigorous with that movement. And then take a moment just to come to stillness and we're going to bring the hands behind but keep um, the space in between the feet minimal. As you press into the hands, lengthen the spine but also Draw the shoulders back, so the heads of the shoulders roll back and the chest fills open with your heart lifting and you just begin to kind of draw the knees down with that pressure in between the feet. So nice deep breath in and smooth breath out. Inhale smoothly and exhale completely and then gradually bring your hands away as you lift your knees and then just take the feet to at least a sort of mat distance apart press down through your hands and just windscreen wiper through the legs a few times Okay, just taking another nice deep breath in and then come back to the centre. I'm just going to make our way into tabletop position. So spreading the fingers nice and wide as you press down through the tops of the feet, anchor the tailbone back and the crown of the head forward. So you're really quite actively pressing into the hands here to separate the shoulder blades off the back and then just begin by curling up through the tailbone up through the vertebrae of the spine lifting and shining the heart forward and then exhale bringing the chin to the chest round all the way back through those vertebrae and the tailbone to be the last thing to tuck underneath 
So on the inhale, coming to arch through the spine. And exhale to round through the spine. So just taking a few cat and cows, really great for mobilizing into the whole spinal column. And getting the blood flowing up and down our most central kind of gateway between all the parts of the body. And take another deep breath, shine the heart forward. And then come to bring yourself back to the neutral and just start to move your through your hips from side to side or you might circle the hips all the way back and around so just explore here see what feels good see what the body is wanting I'm just going to come to tuck my toes now and draw the hips back, press into the hands and then draw yourself forward. So just taking a couple like this. And then taking the tops of your feet down, coming all the way back to sit onto the heels. I'm going to interlace the fingers and then press the palms forward. So you're really trying to get all of your fingers engaged here. The whole of the palm pressing forward as well as the shoulder blade spreading wide and down the back. And then on the inhale, lift the palms up. And then on the exhale, we're going to exaggerate and we're going to round and bring the chin towards the chest as you press the hands forward. And then on the inhale, forward and up. So like a kind of seated cat and cow through the spine. Focusing more on the upper portion of the body and the neck. Okay, so you come once more to press the palms up, this time lengthen through the whole of the spine, draw the shoulder blades down the back, and then exhale, release the palms. So we're going to come into our more restorative side now. So if you come to bring your um, bolster or your cushions, your pillows out in front of you, take the knees a bit wider, bring the big toes together. So just remember, if you want to carry on sort of moving through the body before coming into this part of the practice you're very welcome to pause and do that so i'm going to um come into a supported child's pose as our first restorative so you just start to walk the fingertips forward and we want this support to be coming from at least um, at your rib cage and then just allow the hands to come out to either side maybe coming forward but we don't want to feel like we're kind of reaching and uh, pulling ourselves forward so we want to keep things fairly uh, relaxed here and then I'm just going to bring one cheek down and just come to really nestle into the pose Just allow yourself to start to let go, to breathe a bit longer, a bit deeper. So this is your time just to be in stillness and to feel into the body. And if the thoughts keep coming up through the mind, Feel that sense of grounding through the body and as if the thoughts could just empty out into the ground. So you sanctioned out this time for you, this space to tune back in and connect with the body. So 
Just allow yourself to feel more and more relaxed and more and more supported by uh, your bolster or your alternative props. When you're ready, you can come to switch um, the cheek that is down onto uh, your prop. allow yourself to feel how it feels on this side what's going on with uh, the breath can you tune back into the breath and this sense of being really grounded and really supported here You might imagine the energy being able to flow freely from around the hips and up and down the sides of the lower back. Just keep breathing smoothly and continuously. And then coming to feel into your hands, you might take a moment to stretch your arms forward if that feels good. And then gradually begin to work your way all the way up. I'm going to use the bolster again for the next um, pose. If you just bring your knees a bit closer towards one another. And then bring the bolster more towards the top of the mat. So you're going to place your wrists onto the bolster. Keep your knees at hip distance. So you're going to come into a supported version of Atanasana. You might want a block or something for the forehead here. So you can take your head down onto the block and just keep the arms coming forward. This is a really good one just for the, the long meridian lines which come all the way down through the inner side of the arm and finish it around uh, the thumb, so the point of the thumb. So you just keep breathing here and feeling as if you can start to open up your lungs and your heart maybe just enjoying that sensation and that feeling through the shoulders and that length into the sides of the rib cage so just keep breathing nice and fluidly allowing any sensations to arise And see if you can allow the body to become a bit more receptive, a bit more pliable. And just notice how the body feels here. Just keep breathing nice and smoothly, emptying out the thoughts into the earth. And whenever you feel 
ready or you feel like it's time to release from the pose just bring the hands back and we're going to come into a a child's pose to uh, without any support just for a couple of breaths so you just really allow the sensations of that pose to sweep through the body Notice how the energy feels after that pose. And very slowly begin to make your way all the way back up. We'll bring the sit bones over to one side and then bring your legs forward. Now, if you have a block or if you have a book, you might want to use that just kind of in between your feet here. So I'll show you a couple of options for this one because I know it can be a little bit tricky to uh, uh, get into. So you can either keep the block in between the feet and just allow the, the bolster to kind of come di diagonally up towards you, which you're going to put your head onto. Or some people prefer to bring the legs a little bit closer together, have the bolster here, and then build up with uh, blocks or cushions or something on top of that uh, bolster. So whichever one you prefer is totally up to you. Another option as well, if you would like to elevate the hips slightly, if you find... Uh, forward folding um, a little bit tricky the blanket can really help just to have that underneath your um, hips it can also be nice just to have that warmth from below so I'm going to just take my bolster vertically and I'm going to put the forehead onto it and then bring the arms down either side so this is going to look very uh, different for different people. It's also uh, going to look quite different from a more yang uh, practice where you're told to keep the spine and the back as straight as possible as you hinge forward. This is a much more relaxed version of forward folding. So you don't need to hold on to anything. The muscles can completely uh, relax, the arms can relax, you can allow that rounding into the spine. If at any point you want to adjust yourself and come a bit further down, you're also welcome to uh, do so. Just make sure that you're not at that point where it feels um, like it's getting too much. So as we hold the pose, the sensations tend to change and they tend to develop and maybe they become slightly uh, stronger. So just be aware of that and allow your body space to move into that area without it feeling overwhelming. And just keep breathing nice and smoothly, allowing relaxation to become more and more prominent. So here also see if the face can relax even if it is uh, pressing against the bolster or against a block. Allow the belly to be soft. Just notice how the body feels. So forward folds can be heavily connected with a sense of surrendering, a sense of being able to let go, to be able to release what we don't need within our lives. It's also very uh, in inward facing introspective so we get to also look at ourselves in a different way in a different light
Just keeping the breath nice and smooth. And just start to notice where your hands are, or where your feet are, and the placement of your body, and the points that are in contact with the ground. And just start to move the fingers and breathe slightly deeper before gradually beginning to draw yourself away from your props. And kindly rolling yourself all the way back up. And just moving your props over to one side. So we are going to need these again in a moment. And then we'll just come to bend through the knees. And make sure you have enough space behind you on the mat. If you want any extra warmth, remember you can always use the blanket above or below. And come all the way down onto the mat. So you're going to bring the feet slightly closer towards you. Touch in so that the very sort of fingernails and the tips of the fingers are touching the back of the heel. And then press into your feet and we're going to lift the hips and use uh, the bolster here underneath um, your sacrum. You can also do this with the block, so that's an option as well. Maybe you feel as if there's too much height on the bolster around your sacrum area, in which case um, the lower part of the block can be quite nice just to rest under the sacrum. I'm going to take the arms either side. So just allow the shoulder blades to slightly draw underneath and down flat. And then the palms facing up. So you can close the eyes or allow the gaze to soften. So really wonderful pose for the lower back but also for allowing a bit of release around uh, the stomach maybe the, um, if you've been experiencing cramps or pain in the intestines you can start to lengthen and open up the stomach the intestines and also into the fronts of the thighs so just allow your breath to wash over you as it comes in and it comes out. Noticing any sensations over the body. And just seeing if you can relax a bit further, if the points of contact can feel a bit more heavy and supported by the ground beneath you. I think the facial uh, muscles can soften a bit more.
with this one whenever you feel ready you're very welcome to either slide the bolster or the block away or maybe take the block down onto a lower setting There doesn't have to be a set time limit for this one. Just notice how you feel and what uh, the body is trying to communicate to you. So whenever you are ready, just feel into the feet and press down to lift the hips before uh, drawing away your prop from underneath. I'm just going to take the knees nice and wide and rock the legs from one side to the other. So windscreen wipering through the legs. And just coming back uh, to the center, I'm going to finish off by uh, taking the bolster underneath the knees. So just allowing your knees to drop out to either side, perhaps taking a blanket for our relaxation. So our final pose and relaxation just allow the palms to face up and the shoulder blades to draw down the back behind you and allow everything to feel as grounded as possible so maybe sometimes we underestimate the the power of feeling grounded feeling connected to our earth feeling that gravitational pull on the whole of the body at one singular moment and really allow the integration of this very healing and nurturing practice to come into the body at this time of transition this time of change in the seasons and the weather Just starting to be aware of the body once again, the feet and the fingers, maybe just moving through those toes, through the fingertips. And just roll the head from one side to the other. And if you'd like to extend the arms up, you might just yawn open by extending the legs and the arms in opposite directions. And bringing your knees in towards the chest. So taking a moment to just feel into that sacrum against the ground, rocking from one side to the other. Or rolling over to one side in your fetal position. Just bringing yourself all the way up to seated, just keeping the eyes exactly as they were. And we'll extend the arms all the way up.
bring the hands together, trace the thumbs down through the centre line to rest by your heart. So take this moment to really recognise how important creating space and time for ourselves to rest and how powerful that can be um, at supporting us within other practices. So may we always honour and listen to our bodies and not and just continue to push during times of uh, transition and times of change where perhaps our energy levels change. So we can allow space for that. So maybe we keep cultivating the light, the strength of our energy in order for our brightness to glow divine light in me honors the divine light in each and every one of you thank you very much for uh, practicing with me for checking out my uh, youtube channel so i'd love for you to uh, subscribe and to keep in touch feel free to comment with any suggestions for videos that you might like to see on my channel and I hope that you have found some value in this practice today. Thank you very much.